Pagod ka na bang magsulat ng contact tracing form sa bawat pinupuntahan mo? Natatakot ka bang mahawa dahil sa panulat na ginamit mo? Nangangamba ka ba para sa iyong data privacy? Higit sa lahat, may saysay nga ba ang mga pinagsusulat mo? Upang bawasan ang ating alalahanin sa tuwing magtutungo sa mga establishmento ngayong meron pa rin COVID-19 pandemic, ay ginawa nating mas madali ngunit mas maiting ang ating contact tracing sa Valenzuela City. Narito na ang Valenzuela Contact Tracing App o ang Valtrace. Sa pamamagitan ng Valtrace App, hindi na kailangan pang magsulat sa contact tracing form sa bawat pupuntahang establishmento. Kailangan lang ipakita at iscan ang inyong unique QR code. Ang record ng inyong mga napuntahan ay direktang maitatala sa database ng ating Mega Contact Tracing Center na magiging malaking tulong para sa mas masinsinang contact tracing. Paano ba gamitin ang Valtrace app? Step 1. Mag-log on lang sa valtrace.upcase.net Step 2. Sagutan ang online form at i-click ang Submit. Step 3. I-generate ang inyong QR code at i-save sa mobile phone. Maaari din itong i-print. Narito ang ilang paalalang dapat tandaan. Simula September 12, 2020, ay pwede nang i-download ang inyong QR code. Sa October 5, 2020 naman, ay sisimula ng hinin at i-scan ang inyong QR code sa bawat enclosed indoor establishment sa Valenzuela City. Tulad ng mga mall, restaurant, grocery store, banko, simbahan, palengke at iba pa. No QR code, no entry. Kaya mag-download na upang hindi maabala. Ang servisyong ito ay libre at pwedeng gamitin taga Valenzuela ka man o hindi. Bawat isang QR code ay para lang sa isang tao, kaya dapat ay may sariling code ang bawat individual na papasok ng establishment. Kailangan pa rin palaging dalhin ang quarantine pass sa tuwing lalabas ng tahanan. Ang QR code ay kakailanganin lamang tuwing papasok ng establishment. Good morning everyone. Our lesson for today is all about music from Lowlands of the Zone. Our objective for today are describe the musical characteristics of representative music selections from the Lowlands of the Zone. Number 2, analyze the musical elements of some lowland vocal and instrumental music selections. Number 3, identify the musical instruments and other sound sources from the lowlands of Luzon. Number four, explore ways of producing sounds on a variety of sources that is similar to the instruments being studied. Now, let's have a pre-assessment. Identify the following musical symbols.
Now here are the answers. When you heard the word music, what comes to your mind? Music is an art form and cultural activity whose medium is sound. Music is a way of expressing yourself and your feelings. Music is everything. Without music, there is no purpose to a lot of stuff. Now, give me two reasons why music is important to us. Now, what are the different elements of music? Pitch, high or low, timbre, quality of sound, structure, musical plan, texture, how many sounds have you heard, tempo, fast or slow, dynamics, loud or soft, duration, long or short. Now, what is folk songs? Folk songs are songs written by the folk and are sung to accompany daily activities such as farming, fishing, and putting the baby to sleep. These are traditionally passed on orally. What are the characteristics of folk songs? Originally passed down orally to the family and to the members of the community. Learn through rote, sung in his or her own dialect, begins in one key and ends in the same key. Composers and lyricists are usually unknown. Mood can be sentimental, playful, and humorous. Concepts are based on nature or people's work, tradition, culture, short and simple, either in deep tuple meter, triple meter, or quadruple meter. Now let's have an activity. Identify the tempo melody of the following folk song. Ating ko pong sing-sing, netong yang tingtukan. Amana ke iti, tingin dung ibatan, 
Our liturgy and devotional music reveals the impact of Spanish colonization, its use for religious rites, incorporate to the Christian practices. It has triple meter. The vocal music, the Mass Pastores, church songs, Pastores, Christmas songs, Moro Moro, Comedia theatrical play between Muslim and Christians, Sinakulo, reenactment of Passion of Christ, Pabasa ng Passion, the Passion, Death and Resurrection of Jesus Christ and recited during the Holy Week, Salubong, the reenactment of the meeting of the risen Christ, Flores de Mayo, Flowers of May, a Catholic festival held on the month of May, Devotion to the Blessed Virgin, Santa Cruzan, Finding the Holy Cross by the Queen Helena and her son Constantine. Now let us listen to some of the examples of liturgy and devotional music.
another activity. Sing kit. Prepare a short script for a skit that shows the use and manner of singing devotional music in a particular Catholic event. Particular music refers to any music that is not religious in nature. Example of secular music. 1. Harana, serenade traditionally sung by a man to a woman, sang with emotion and usually accompanied by a guitar, in duple or quadruple meter in danza menor or habanera tempo. Example, ang tangi kong pag-ibig o ilaw. Gabing malamig, wangis mo'y bituin sa langit. originated from Balayan, Batangas. It has triple meter with themes of love and courtship. Example, Mucha ng Pasig. Pandango, a dance form from Batanes, Ilocos, and Tarlac, and parts of Visayas. Spanish word, Fandango, popular in 19th century among elite of Manila. Example, Pandanguhan. Polka 
originated from Bohemian dance, performed in elegant evening gatherings at the height of its popularity. The tempo is quick, duple meter, while melody is supported by chords, harmonies of tonic, dominant, and subdominant. We have folk example of folk songs that are in polka rhythm. We have Pamuli Nawin, Magtanim ay Dibiro, Leron Leron Sinta. Balitao, a dialogue or courtship song in triple meter, mostly two and three part forms are arranged with counter melodies. Example, Salibis ng Nayon, Bakya Munene. Kundiman or Kung Hindiman its melody, lyrics, and expressive singing. It conveys selfless and spiritual attitude, intense love, caring not only with a partner, but also with the parent, child, and motherland. Activity time. Identify the following. Secular music in dance menor tempo. Mucha ng pasi. The Spanish word fandango. Nasaan ka iro? Salibis ng nayon. The melody supported the chords, tonic, subdominant, dominant. Pamuli Nawin, O Ilaw, serenade traditionally sung by a man to a woman, triple meter with themes of love and courtship.
Let us listen to the music. Name some instruments you have heard. Brass instruments. Trumpet has the highest register in the brass family. Trombone. Pitch is produced by sliding the valve. Euponium. Valve instrument non-transposing instrument sousaphone type of tuba designed to be easier than the connect tuba to play while standing or marching woodwind instrument piccolo shorter than the flute the sound it produces is thinner than the flute flute an aerophone that produces its sound from the flow of air across an opening Clarinet has a single reed mouthpiece, a straight cylindrical tube with cylindrical bore and flare bell. Musikong Bungbong are Filipino marching bands that use woodwind instruments that are made of bamboo. The original Malabon Musikong Bungbong start as plain banda de boca meaning bibig or mouth. In Barrio Tonsuya, Malabon, in 1896, Felix Ramos was both the founder and inventor of the bamboo instruments. Pangkat Kawayan, popularly known as the Singing Bamboos of the Philippines, is an orchestra that plays music using non-traditional bamboo instruments founded in 1966. <laughs> Anklung, bamboo rattle tubes attached to a bamboo frame. Tubes are carved to have a resonant pitch when struck each anklung represents a note and it's turned to octave. Bung Bung, also known as a bamboo tube. It is made of hollow pieces of bamboo that has been put together and serve as orchestra's wind section. Each bung bung represents one note to produce the sound it has to be blown through a mouthpiece. Talunggating, also known as bamboo marimba, made from bamboo that follows the musical scale and style of typical xylophone. It plays the melody. Mallets made of rattan and rubber are used to play the instrument. Pan pipes, small pieces of bamboo in graduated small tubes that has been put together by a string. Each pipe represents note and is blown to produce sound. Tulali, also known as bamboo flute, made of baga, one of the smallest bamboo varieties. A bamboo opening encircled by a banana leafing to a pentatonic scale play on four holes, one found below and three on top of the bamboo tube. Anklung Ensemble The Anklung en instruments is made of bamboo rat rattle tubes attached to a bamboo frame. The Anklung Ensemble is a small group of musicians who plays Anklung bamboo instruments. Manner of playing, the anklung is by rapidly shaking the bottom part of the frame, while the other hand steadily holds the upper part of the instrument. 
each angklung shaker plays only one or two pitches. It is commonly accompanied by double bass guitar and percussion instruments. The angklung has more than two and a half octaves or around 30 pitches to be able to play a wide range of musical pieces. The angklung instruments can also be a part of other ensemble like pangkat kawayan. Hornbostel sax, classification of musical instruments. Egyphones, produce sound by the vibration of its cause by the way they are played such as being struck, scraped, rubbed, shaken, or plucked. Aerophones, produce sound primarily by causing a body of air to vibrate because of the air blown inside. Chordophones, Produce sound through its vibrating string or strings that is either plucked, strummed, or used with a bow. Membranophones produce sound primarily by way of vibrating stretch membrane tapped by hands or sticks. Now let's have an activity. Categorize the following instruments through Hornbostel sax classification. 1. Trumpet 2. Trombone 3. Anklung 4. Marimba 5. Guitar 6. Flute 7. Sousaphone 8. Banduria 9. Panpipes 10. Clarinet To generalize our topic for today, the music of Lowlands of Luzon pass on orally and learn through rote. Now for your assignment, make your own recycled musical instruments, group yourselves into five, choose one folk song using your recycled musical instruments, Limit your performance into two minutes. Rubrics are given for your guidance and information. Before we end up this session, let me leave an important thought that will constantly remind you about the power of music. Music crosses all bridges, borders, and cultures to connect us all. That's all for today. Keep safe, everyone. 
बाय Dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic, napilitan tayong magbago ng paraan ng pamumuhay. Ika nga nila, new normal. At maging sa edukasyon, kailangan 